Hi, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm gonna to be making my currently page for May 2024 and filling it out with you. But before we get into the video, I just want to talk to you a little bit about my fingernails. Yes, I've had a lot of questions in the comments lately in the past year or so about what I do for my nails. So I just wanna to talk to you about that for a second. I've been using Nail Reserve for the past four years. Gel polish has changed the game for me. I used to do dip and it's not even the same. And um, it lasts so much longer than regular polish. I never go to the salon anymore unless I have like a special occasion like a vacation or something really big. Otherwise, I do my nails at home every single time. Nail Reserve is a shop out of Los Angeles, and I've tried so many different gel polishes over the years, and honestly, this is the very best one that I've used. I have a huge collection of their polishes, but these are the ones they sent me recently. So I picked these out. There's Ice Mint, Scandalous, Pool Party, City of Love, and then we have um, the top coat and the base coat. This color is Pool Party. How pretty is this blue? It's like a nice royal blue. I love fun colors on my nails. It's funny because when I started YouTube, I only did French manicures because I thought my hands are too old to be putting bright colors on. But during COVID, I went a little crazy, tried a bunch of different colors, and discovered that I really love changing up the colors every week. Nail Reserve has been a game changer for me, and all my kids come over and they use my polishes all the time because we really love them. I wanna show you three of my favorite polishes that aren't shown here that I use all the time. So this one is Mythical. It looks like it's gray, but actually it comes out more like white, but it's, it's not like a stark white. It's a really, really nice white. I use No Strings Attached a lot. This is a very pale, pretty pink. And of course, my favorite color is yellow, so I use this Bronze Me Baby a lot as well. This stuff dries so fast that I don't have to worry about anything smudging. All you do is put it under the little nail light and it cures it and it's all set to go. It's completely dry. I have a 50% off coupon code for you. It is Mary Ellen, no spaces. That's good on a minimum of two products and it won't work when there's an automatic promotion on the website. Now there's also a VIP subscription where you can get 50% off on everything at any time with sales and all that. There's also early access to launches and there's exclusive sales for VIP members that are really good and um, you can get free shipping and exchanges. So I'll put my link in the description box. You can go check it out if you're interested. Thank you again to Nail Reserve for sending me this stuff. And now let's get on to the video. Okay, let's get started on this page. So I am not gonna be using the currently page that came in the planner I'm using. Instead, I'm making my own. So as you can see, I just have a piece of blank paper. I honestly don't know where I got this paper, so I can't help you there. I just found it in like an old Happy Notes notebook. So I don't think it's Happy Planner. I'm not really sure, but anyway. I wanted to use a blank sheet of paper because I'm gonna be doing a spread that's my current favorites, and I wanted like the whole page to work with. I'm gonna be doing a grid because um, I just did a uh, I don't know if you saw that video, but I did a currently page, like flip through video of all my currently pages of all time. And the ones I seem to like the best had like a grid effect on it. So I drew a grid in pencil just as sort of a guideline. I'm gonna be erasing these pencil marks later. But um, yeah, so I'm using all these color pens and just I'm gonna draw boxes within the grid so that every, every prompt will have a, a separate box. Now, this is gonna be my current favorites. I haven't done one of these in a while. Like every month I kind of do current favorites, but it this is more like, well, you'll see, you'll see. Um, so I have these colors here. I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have three mile liners by Zebra. I have a Crayola Super Tips marker. These are always great to keep on hand. Um, they're so inexpensive and they come in such a good variety of colors, so I like these a lot. And then I have a Tombow 
dual brush pen in this green color 126 and I thought I would just draw inside here. So we're gonna get started. Actually, should I use this side or the other side? Yes, mild liners have two sides. Can you believe it? If you didn't know, now you know. It took me a long time to realize that. Is my dog whining? I swear, I always hear whining like it's it's kind of in my brain when you hear something so often it's like when you have a baby and your baby cries so you always think you're hearing your baby cry or fuss but it turns out you're not oh i know what i'm hearing almond is snoring do you hear that <laughs> i don't know if you can hear that anyway sorry i got very sidetracked so we're just going to draw some boxes within the boxes just because if I don't do that, I might, I mean, I could probably still do it, but I just wanted to make it exact, you know? I'm also gonna be using this Spring Market Happy Planner sticker book. There's some really cute stickers in here, and I picked these pens as like a, um, gosh, brain work, brain work. I chose the color of pens that would match stickers in this sticker book. Whew, man. Okay, so I just have to sort of decide which colors are gonna look good together. And honestly, I'm just gonna wing it. I'm not really sure because I didn't choose three different colors like I probably should have. I chose five, which means they're not gonna be equal, you know? So we're just gonna wing it here and hope that it turns out all right. It usually does, but you honestly, you never know. You just don't know. Okay, so far so good. That one looks the best, but we're not gonna be fussy about little imperfections here. That's not what we do on my channel. We do not. So we've got the green here. I also have that peach color. It can't go under that one because that's like the same family, right? So it's gonna go over here. Now, what's gonna go in the middle? That's a good question. <laughs> I figure I'll talk to you through this whole thing. Usually I would fast forward this or like, <laughs> or like cut it and come back, but I'm just gonna talk to you while I draw the boxes. Why not? How about purple in the middle? Here comes you know who. So I just got back from Go Wild a few days ago and I'm feeling like I've lost my mojo. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like I'm not creative. I know that this seems creative, but it took me a really long time to think of this. It really did. It took a lot of brain power to prepare for this video, and it doesn't usually take me that long. Like something's going on with me. I don't know if it's because I'm filming less videos, you know what I mean, or I don't quite know, but I don't like it. I'll tell you that much. I do not like it. I guess green's gonna have to go next. I don't really want it to, but it's going to. Yeah, so I just was stumped for the longest time as to what to do for this currently page. What a mess. I'm gonna have to use this under this. I'm breaking my rule because I don't wanna do it purple. See, this is the problem when you have like a lot of colors. You're trying to balance them and you can't. It's okay. It'll all look good in the end. And then maybe we do the peach here. Wait, let's plan this out. Peach. Um, or maybe this color there. Because that's kind of like a dark color. But then we don't have another peach. No, we're going to do peach. We're going to do purple here. Right? This is gonna have to be yellow, I guess. I don't know. It's gonna look good. <laughs> I keep telling myself that. Um, yeah, so I haven't been filming a lot lately and I feel a little like, I don't know. Sometimes I get self-conscious or not feeling very creative or all of the above. If you're a YouTuber, you probably feel that once in a while, like that self-consciousness. Sometimes I'm in the zone, I'm flowing, 
the conversation is flowing. I'm funny once in a while. <laughs> um, and then the other times it just feels so awkward. Ah. And I know I say this, I've said this ever since I started YouTube. Every once in a while I say how awkward I feel. You know, I'm just keeping it real. We all have awkward moments and I have a lot. I have a lot of them. Although this time at Go Wild, there weren't as many awkward moments. Last year, tons. This year, only a couple that I can think of. Last year, I came back home and I overthought every single thing that happened. I'm hoping that it's more that I didn't, that I had, like, rewind. I'm hoping that I had just as many awkward moments, but that I'm learning to let them go. That's what I hope, because I've been doing a lot of work in therapy about stuff like that, about not overthinking, all that kind of stuff. Because last year I came home and all overthought every single thing that went wrong. Everything I thought went wrong that I said or didn't say or whatever. And it's exhausting being in my brain sometimes. But this year I'm really trying to like let that stuff go. Although I do think there was a lot less of it this year. So maybe, maybe that's why I had a better time. I don't know. I mean, last year was fun too, but... This year seemed to be more fun. I'm going to fill this out at the end. Let's do flowers. I thought we'd put flowers at the top. And then we have these, which I'm going to write current favorites and put it over the flowers, I think. I'm not sure if it's going to work out, but I'm hoping it will. My thought is just do like a whoosh, a flowy flower extravaganza, something like that. Like, you know, just not, not overthinking it. Just kind of, I don't want it to be super even though. I have to do like, eh. I'm overthinking it. I'm just going to throw them down. I'm throwing them down. I'm not going to fuss. No fuss, no muss. Is that, wait, no fuss, no muss. Is that the right expression? Not sure, but I'm not fussing. That looks pretty good. I just didn't want it to look ju 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 you know, that's my sound effect for that. All right. Um, yeah, I want to put one of these here, but I feel like it's going to cover up the beautiful florals. I don't quite know. Let's get one with as many colors in it as we can. Okay. It's going to cover up some of them. Yes, but it doesn't have to be a lot. We'll put it at the top of the page here. Okay. Ah, that is a little crooked, is it? It is. It's very slight, but you know me. Let's try again. Now it's like... Mm -hmm. I know it doesn't matter. It does not. I'm trying to center it on here, but instead... I think maybe I should center it on the page itself. I don't know. That's good enough. Um, let's write current favorites. I have a Ritek gel pen. By the way, I'm going to link everything I use in the description box so you can look there for products. I always appreciate when you use my link, my links. I'm going to write in cursive up here and not worry about like centering it and hope it turns out fairly centered. Ah, I don't know how to write in cursive anymore. Look at look at the R. What happened there? Do you know what I mean? It looks like Favantes. <laughs> I don't know, I can't fix it. Maybe I'll bring the R up, the I up a little bit so it looks separate, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I know it says current favorites, so do you. Um, yeah, for some reason, over the years, I've stopped using actual cursive, and I do like my half cursive and half print thing. And so now sometimes when I write certain letters or certain combinations of letters in cursive, I have a really hard time with it. Um, anybody else? Like, uh, some of you, if you're young, you might not even know how to write in cursive. <laughs> I think they stopped teaching it a little while ago, but... But yeah, if you're out of practice in cursive, that's what happens. All right. Now down here we have some space. I'm not going to do any writing down here, so I want to like do something fun. 
So this sticker book is so cute. I really like it. It's one of my favorites of the spring release. Um, it's just like, I don't know. I like the color combo. It's a little bit different and it just has that. I love these. Like it just has like a, well, a spring market vibe, right? Like look how pretty they are. And I just love the font here too, but I'm not gonna be using those. I'm gonna save those for a spread. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm thinking maybe some flowers here. I mean, oh wait, I didn't write the month. Hmm. Should I write it down here? Why didn't I write the month? <laughs> Yikes. I guess I'll use another one of these down here and write May 2024. I mean, I'm gonna know when I turn the page, but I usually have the month really prominent on my page this time. I just didn't. What are you gonna do? Um, so I guess we'll just use some big flowers. I kind of wanna save the fruits because I love the fruits, but I could combine flowers and fruits actually. see there's these two but I kind of wanted bigger flowers I just wish they didn't have the gold on them these are pretty hmm you would think if I came back from go wild I'd be very inspired and like more creative I just don't feel that way I don't know what it is and it's frustrating. I usually come back feeling super motivated, super inspired, ready to get back into it. This year, I'm just like, eh, man, I'm having a hard time. But it's okay. We all have those moments. I know I'm not alone in that. I know I'm not. But so far, this page is looking cute. I know I say I'm not inspired, but it's working out okay, I think. little bit of this. Should I put like some going up? I don't know. Sorry. I, I know some people hate when there's tapping on YouTube or like <laughs> try not to do that. Really irks some people. Um, okay. Let's see. All right. We're just going to um, use this. I hate to waste this. I feel like it's a waste because it's I'm not using the whole thing. But it's the right color and we need it. So we're going to take it off the page. Okay. This one's going to go... Hmm. Maybe I should... Since these are little, maybe I should use these too. Or... Hmm. I just don't know. Let's see. Somebody said in a recent video, are you aware about of how many times you say, I don't know, in a video? <laughs> I was like, I don't know that I say that. So if that bothers you, sorry. I can't help it. I cannot help it. I say, I do say, I don't know a lot because, because I'm trying to decide, you know, where things are going to go. And I just don't know. What, what are you going to do? I mean, sometimes I really don't know. Now there's an awkward space. That's okay, we'll fill it with something. That's going back. Oh, I was gonna use that thing down, uh, down on the bottom. Now there's no room for it. And I'm cutting the page, look. If you do that, you're not alone. I always cut the page. You're supposed to turn it over. Sorry for the barking. Bumble's on a mission. Bumble sees something very dangerous outside that she's protect, protecting us all from. Oh, that sucks. Look at that. No one will notice. You'll never know. Well, you will because you saw it happen, but we're just going to pretend it didn't. Okay. I, 
I think one of these little bunches of flowers can go in here, right? Thank goodness they have little bunches of flowers there. That works out. Okay, that's really cute. I kind of don't want to put one of these over it. I could write May here, but it just seems like not enough space. I guess I will though, because I really don't want to take, I like how that looks. I don't want to do that. But if I write May here, then this is gonna be weird and white. Um, I'm doing it anyway though. Let's see. Should I do it in green since like the green, I think I'm gonna do it in green. I'm overthinking guys. I overthink my personal life and I overthink my planner pages. Um, I have ADHD pretty badly and you know, you've probably heard me say that, but if you're new here, you probably guessed it already. I do seem to interrupt myself quite a bit. Um, so I overthink everything is my point. I know you don't have to have ADHD to be an overthinker, but I think if you have ADHD, you're pretty much guaranteed to be an overthinker. Um, new pen. At least I think so. We're just gonna outline this. Can't believe it's May already. What on earth? How did that happen? But I love this time of year. I love the weather. It has been gorgeous outside. Just gorgeous. I'm very excited. It's actually gonna be really hot this weekend, it's gonna be like, I think on Monday, it's supposed to be like 87 or 88. I'm like, no, please, I'm not ready for summer. I don't like it when there is a day that comes out of nowhere like that and you're just like, what? I have to pull out my shorts? Wait, I haven't shaved my legs in three months. What are you talking about? Wait, is that too much information? Am I alone in that too? <laughs> Maybe not three months. Three months is an exaggeration, but still, yikes. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't like those kind of days, but I'll take it over like a snowy day in the middle of spring. Okay, I really wanna put something there, but I don't know what to do. Maybe I could take a couple of those small little flowers, but it's gonna feel Hmm, mm, okay, we're gonna think on that. I'm also trying to decide, should I outline these boxes? And I'm thinking, no, I think I like how they look just all natural like that. But what I'm gonna do is write the categories. Okay, so first I'll write the categories and then we'll talk about each one. I'm gonna do these in like no particular order. So current favorite app. YouTuber, I can't put myself, that's cheating. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, let's see, book, author, TikTok account, TV show, song, nail color, beauty product, and perfume. I have these written on the side, by the way. I'm not making these up as I go along drink and which one am i missing habit okay so that's my little currently list let's talk about it i'll put this away i don't think we're going to be using these unless actually let's just look real quick and see is oh i could put those little flowers down the side is that weird maybe um i just want to look for something that i can put down the side that maybe is just very small and pretty those flowers won't fit to make it not so white. There's these little flowers. They're cute. Let's maybe do a few of those. I don't know that it's going to be the best solution because it's going to be kind of scattered, but I can't stop, you know? I have to make it all fun. Maybe I'll throw a few of those little gold ones in here too. Let's 
like, ooh, I don't know about that. I mean, I'm committed now, you know what I mean? I'm stuck with it. I'm actually not. I can just take them off the page, but we'll see what it looks like. Where is, I lost that page. Ah, uh, here we go. Maybe one more purple. I mean, cute, right? It makes it like more full. So now, of course, of course, we need more on that side now. The yellow has to go down here. It can't go there. I know that's a lot. It's a lot, but actually, let's cut off one of them. Don't be afraid to cut your stickers. You can always do that. We are going to just um, make it a tour. Tour? That's how you say tour if you're like in middle America. Tour. Um, I say tour. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, though. You might be right. Uh, let's see. Another purple. I'm hungry. I just looked at my watch because I'm really starving all of a sudden. So let's speed this along. There we go. I mean, these are kind of like boop, boop, like the same all up and down, which kind of annoys me, but that's all right. It's cute. I just like how it's full. It's full of flowers. Kind of want to put more up there. Oh, we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Okay, let's get to the important part, which is filling this out. I'm going to use Emoji 0.38 for filling it out because this is a little bit thicker, so it looks like a heading. Okay, my favorite app lately is Libby. And if you're not familiar, I said that's so weird. If you're not familiar with the Libby app, it is an app where, well, let me just write it down. It's an app where you can borrow library books digitally. Um, so you don't have to pay for all your digital books. You don't have to go buy them on Amazon. You can get them on Libby. You can have 12 holds, at least for my library, I get 12 holds. Um, and then it'll like notify me, you have a book that's ready to be borrowed. Of course, then sometimes they all come in at once and you have to like, pause them and stuff, but it saved me a lot of money. I'm actually thinking about getting rid of my Kindle Unlimited membership just because I do read a lot of books on Libby. Um, I'm not someone who cares about keeping Kindle books either. I will buy them if I really, really want them. And I don't want to wait on Libby for like three months in case it's like a really popular book. I'm just going to write for books so that people who see this picture will know what I mean. Okay, my favorite YouTuber lately, and actually for a really long time, um, and I've talked about her on my channel before, sorry for the barking, it's Hot and Flashy. Um, is it Hot and Flashy or Hot and Flashy? Wait, I, all right, I have to pause because I want to make sure I give her the right credit. Hold on. It's Hot and Flashy, but she's actually on YouTube as Angie Hot and Flashy. Angie's her name. I'm just going to write Hot and Flashy because you can find her that way too. Um, she's awesome. I've been watching her videos since like way back. I want to say, I don't even know, at least 10 years ago, um, I think. Watch, she only have been there on there for eight years or something. But I, I think I've been watching her for like 10 years. She is someone, a woman, she's very beautiful. She's in her 60s. And she just um, does like skincare, beauty, makeup, like all those kind of videos for people over 50. And I got to tell you, it means a lot that there are YouTubers out there who are representing the older generation, because when you look like on social media in general, most people who are promoting makeup or like showing makeup tutorials or any kind of like skincare stuff or beauty of any kind are young. They're young. And um, Angie's not young, you know, she's older than me. And it makes me feel good that, you know, she looks as good as she does 
at her age because of the things she's been doing. I started using tretinoin because of Angie, um, and I haven't really been that consistent over the years, but lately I've been really trying to be a lot more consistent. I've been really working on my skincare. I'm gonna talk about more of that in a minute. So I really like her. Book, my favorite book, I, I couldn't decide. So I have just read two books recently that I gave five stars to, which I'm pretty liberal at rating books. Like it, I do give a lot of books five stars, but not, not too many. I'm trying to be a little more um, like, what's the word? You know the word I'm thinking of, and I can't think of it because I'm over 50. Um, but I'm trying to not give too many books five stars and four stars, but still, I still do. Anyway, um, Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez is a really good book. I actually listened to it on audio. And for those of you who think that audiobooks are not reading, you're wrong. You're wrong. That's all I have to say. Anyway, like um, I really enjoyed that book a lot. So you can check that out. And then um, a book called The Quiet Tenant. So that is a completely different book from Just for the Summer. Just for the Summer is a romance. And The Quiet Tenant is a very like tense thriller. Um, it's about a girl who is kidnapped. So definitely check the trigger warnings on that. There probably are a lot, but it was, it kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time. Like I was really like part of it. I was like yelling at the girl. I was yelling at him. Like I was very, not actually, but in my mind, I'm like, what are you doing? You know, um, it was just, a, it was a really good read. I, I enjoyed it. I, it was one of those books that both of these were one of those books that like, I couldn't wait for a free moment in my day so I could just read a little bit more of it, you know? And those are my favorite books. I am not someone who like worries about um, how like well-written something is. I mean, I obviously want it to be pretty well-written, but I don't, they're both well-written. But I, what I mean is like, I'm not someone who's into like literary fiction or they don't have to be, you know, have the best, super vocabulary it doesn't have to be so descriptive i just love being sucked into a book that's entertaining for me because i read to escape and you know that's why i love frida mcfadden um and emily henry books like all of those just pull me in and help me just escape my regular life and get me involved in a story that's kind of what i like so i really enjoyed those two books um, on that note, I'm going to put Abby Jimenez as my favorite author of the moment. Uh, she's, I just love her writing. I love her characters. Um, it just keeps me interested. And another author that I've been really loving lately is Annabelle Monahan. She wrote Nora Goes Off Script. She also wrote another one that I read recently called Same Time Next Summer. And they're just like feel good romance books that they don't have like a lot of spice or anything. I'm not someone who loves a ton of spice. I just enjoy like a nice wholesome romance with another kind of plot going on with it, like a deep romance. You know what I mean? Like there's other plot points involved and sometimes, you know, they could be tear jerkers or whatever, but I just... I just really enjoy that. And Annabelle Monahan writes those types of books. So I'm gonna include her in this. I know I'm cheating by doing two, but cannot help myself. I've been really reading a lot of four and five star books this year. Pretty soon I'm gonna do another, like an update on my reading journal so you can see what I've been reading, but I've been reading quite a bit. Okay, TikTok. I am obsessed with a new TikTok account that I found recently, and it's called Cowboy and Emily. I found this by accident. Okay, so Cowboy is a cute little dog. I don't, I think it's like, I, I guess it's some sort of a mix. He's a small, a small little dog. And Emily is his mom. And then most of the videos are Emily's boyfriend. I forget his name, but Emily's boyfriend gives Cowboy 
a new niche career every single day. So, and he's funny. His this guy is really funny. So sometimes it might be like today cowboy is working at a factory and he's selling like uh, you know whatever <laughs> like he makes this up and he makes up this whole story about what cowboy's doing and they zoom in on cowboy and it's so funny and very clever so i look forward to seeing every day what cowboy's job is that day it just cheers me up TV show, I'm going to put one day because I just watched this on Netflix. However, disclaimer, I bawled my eyes out. (laughs) I bawled my eyes out. I binge watched this show in two days. It's a limited series, but there's quite a few of them. And it's about um, a woman and a man who meet in college. And then it's like a snapshot. Every episode is like a snapshot of a day in July the following year. So it goes from like 1988 to like 2000 something. Um, Really good show. And I got so invested in the characters. I love the characters. The actors are wonderful. So check that out. But just be warned that um, it's sad too. Like there's some sad stuff that happens in it. And like it's happy and sad. It's, it's It's a tearjerker. I really enjoyed it though. So I recommend that show. Song, I'm going to put, okay, not, okay, let me write it first. Sorry. (laughs) I I keep going. Okay, okay. No Angels um, by Justin Timberlake. Now, disclaimer on this one. It's not that it's like the best song ever, but I am a Justin Timberlake fan. I have been for years and years since he put out his first album. So for me, the song No Angels feels very nostalgic to me. It feels like old school Justin Timberlake from like the early 2000s. That's why I like it. Not necessarily that it's the best song I've ever heard. It's not. But I just enjoy it for that aspect of it. It kind of takes me back. It feels like, you know, I don't know. It's just nostalgic for me. and And I just, I like it because of that reason. Nail color, I'm going to put Pool Party because I really like this color. Um, Yeah, I'm going to put um, Nail Reserve on here. I really do like this color. I think it's really pretty. I wasn't sure at first whether I should do it because it looked a little dark in the in the bottle, but I, I like it now. I think it's so pretty, especially with these colors, right? Okay, Beauty Product. As I was filming this video, I thought, oh, I wonder if they have an affiliate link. Let me write it first. It's the Nira Laser. So I didn't write this product so that I could give you an affiliate link. That's not what this is about. Before I started this video and I was writing out my prompts and writing what I was going to put here, I decided that I wanted to do this for beauty product. And then I thought, Maybe I should see if they have an affiliate, and they do. So I'm try. I applied. So there probably will be an affiliate link by the time you watch this in the description box. I'm hoping that I get approved like before you see this video. But what it is, I should have brought it over to show you. It's I, I got the precision laser laser the laser. I got the precision one. There's two kinds. So the precision one is like just a little laser, and it has like a little area like this. And I, I put it around my eyes. I, I've been very consistent with it. I've been using it for about a month and a half. At the end of the day, um, with like a clean face, I take it and you like click it and it beeps and it like puts a little laser on your face. Now it is a little uncomfortable, but you can set it to different settings. So it's really not like I turned it down to setting three, I think around my eyes because they have five settings and the five setting was like it hurt. But the three doesn't hurt. It's just like kind of warm. Anyway, I thought, okay, I'm going to get this because I read tons of reviews, including Hot and Flashy, but tons of other reviews on this product because I keep getting like, I'm starting to get these fine lines around my eyes that are starting to annoy me. And I did kind of purchase it with like a little bit of skepticism. I wasn't really sure that this was going to be something that would work for me, but I bought it. It's not cheap. I think it was like $400. So it's definitely not cheap, 
But you guys, I am a stickler for making sure that before and after pictures are the same lighting and the same angle and the same everything. Like I am very careful. So I took a picture before and then I, and I would I would put it up on sorry, ADHD interrupting myself. I would put it up like here to show you, but I'm a little, I don't know. I'm a little embarrassed of how the photo looks because it's not great. Uh, if you really want to see it, maybe I can do it next time I talk about it. I don't know. But I will tell you that the difference between my before and my one month picture, they say to give it three months and you can get, it's like a money back guarantee. They said, give it three months. After one month, I was shocked at how my eyes looked after a month. I'm telling you, I am not kidding. I never lie on my channel, I would never do that. I really like this product. You know how you can get a CO2 laser? I think it's called that in, in a doctor's office. They're expensive. They're, I don't even know, $1,500 or something. And it's like hardcore. So this is like, if you do this every day for three months, it's supposed to equal, I think, like one laser session or something. I don't know. Oh my gosh, Wallace. <laughs> Bumble hates it when Wallace gets on the desk. <laughs> Wallace, you're casting shadows. Oh gosh. Excuse me, mister. All right, just enjoy yourself. Anyway, it's, it's like a laser in an office, but just a little bit at a time every single day. So, Sorry I went on and on about that, but I really do like that. And it's only been a month and a half. I can't wait to see the results at three months. Maybe that's when I'll show you pictures if I'm brave enough. <laughs> okay, let's move on. And I spent a lot of time on that. So perfume, I've been loving Glossier perfume. My kids turned me on to that. It is very, very nice smelling. I love it. I try not to put too much perfume on because I don't want to like stink everybody out. But sometimes I'll just spray that on when I'm sitting around the house because it smells so good. Drink. I'm going to write spicy margaritas because when I was in Mexico with my kids and when I went to go wild um, with Elise, like we drank a lot of spicy margaritas and they're just so good. I especially love it when they throw jalapenos in there. I know that's not for everyone because it's spicy, but I really enjoy those. Okay, the last habit I am going to write is, not the last habit, oh my gosh, the last favorite I'm gonna write is habit and walking. You guys, I have been really trying to get in 8,000 steps a day. I'm not succeeding every day, but I will say, I feel really good taking these long walks. Now I did the same thing last spring because the weather's so nice, I wanna get out more. So obviously I walk more in the springtime than I do in the winter or in the hot summer, but I really am loving getting my walking in. So Bumble and I usually take two really long walks a day. I wish I had sidewalks in my neighborhood. I don't, but that's how it goes. Um, I just want to walk a lot because I just feel like since I'm currently not going to the gym, not yet anyway, uh, I just want to make sure that I get in that exercise every day. I know it's not, you know, extreme exercise or anything, but it's so good for your body just to walk. So if you don't walk, get out there today, if it's a nice day outside and just take like a half an hour walk. And it makes a difference in my mood because I'm out in the sunlight and um, especially if it's like a cool and breezy day in the sun it just there's something about that that just changes my mood and makes me feel so much better than sitting in my house so um, try it out if you're not a walker okay that's all I've got for you today I know this was a long one I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video let me know what you think in the comments take care everybody bye